Hey everybody, hope you're good. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Abby. If you're not new, thank you so much for clicking to watch another video. So in today's video, I have a mini K-Beauty skincare haul for you. So as the thumbnail suggests, I went on iHerb and I bought a couple of products from the K-Beauty aisle, uh, online aisle, if you must. So I've been into K-Beauty for, I wanna say a couple of years now. Um, I was introduced to like KBT brands from uh, I want to say from maybe two or three main YouTube channels. One was Gothamista, um, another was Beauty Within, and I'm pretty sure, and obviously James um, James Walsh as well. In his early days, was very much into KBT products. There's there's been a few other channels that I've watched like religiously in and out. Obviously Leah Yu again is another one. Um, yeah there's quite a few channels that do focus on KBT a lot and I was really really interested in trying some products. My first KBT product was actually um, a very such a lovely um, serum emulsion type product from the brand Actually, I say K Beauty had a labo. Is that a K Beauty brand, or was that a Japanese brand J Beauty? I want to say, but it's a brand had a labo, and they have a whole range of like products. And I got their hyaluronic acid toner emulsion thing. Um, I used that for the longest time, and I used it while I was um, actually that was pre dermatica, while I was using other products in my skincare routine to manage my acne prone skin, and that was probably one of the best products I introduced into my skincare routine because it was just so hydrating. I always woke up to soft skin every morning, and I think maybe just even just keeping that hydration at a certain level in my skin helped like the breakouts um helps the dryness sometimes that i would get and yeah so that hyaluronic acid serum was actually really really good for my skin and then later on i was watching a beauty within video and they mentioned a brand called benton i went on uh iherb i think at the time or was it i want to say yes style even i think i even i think it might have been yes style so i went on yes style and i you know, looked up the brand and it just looked really good because one the brand was affordable to it was focusing on like green tea and from the video i had seen obviously i learned that green tea is a great anti-inflammatory product acne is an inflammatory response in your skin um so you want something to calm the, infl the inflammation and green tea again has a wealth of antioxidants it's anti-inflammatory it's very soothing to the skin um and it also actually helps with that uh it's antimicrobial antibacterial and it also over time does help to uh decrease blemishes on the skin so i just thought yes yeah, green tea is something i definitely want to put on my skin i've been drinking green tea for i want to say oh maybe how old am i now about 15 years i can't even believe i am that old my goodness i've been drinking green tea <laughs> for about 15 years goodness when did i start my first office job it's been a while i've been green, drinking green tea for a while and i just never it never occurred to me that there could be skincare with green tea in it until a couple of years back um so i've been subscribed to beauty within for a good few years um and I just, I remember seeing a video where they mentioned the brand Benton and that it's affordable and they love the product. So I got Benton into my skincare routine and the two Benton products that I got were their green tea, uh, their deep green tea toner and their emulsion. So hence the segue. So the first product I wanted to talk about for my eye herb haul is the Benton deep green tea toner. And this toner is just amazing. Love the packaging and it's a very, very uh, watery. I want to say like a full fat water, should we say that? It's like a full fat water type of a toner. It adds a lot of hydration in just one pack. You can layer this multiple times. This is what it looks like. And this is, I think, 100, yes, 150 ml. 5.07 fluid ounces of product and it will last you a good couple of months even if you use it every day so it's a really good 
products to incorporate into your skin uh, green tea just having those benefits I talked about so this was the first products that I knew I had to get and the reason I actually chose iHerb um, I think because as a new uh, customer because you get that automatic 25% discount so I will leave links to these products in my description box hopefully uh, so if you wanted to check any of these products I'm going to talk about out please do use my links they're affiliate links they will help my channel out a little bit and yeah but obviously no pressure so this is the first product I knew to add to my basket and I chose iHerb again because of the discount and I just knew that I could get it at the time um, cheaper even with the discount so including the discount including the VAT that you would pay and the shipping as well so I think I believe uh, the shipping was 13 pounds for everything I got and I have about one two three four five six items I believe so I got six items and I paid 13 pounds as a flat rate shipping and you can choose between is it Hermes or DHL don't choose DHL just as a word of uh, caution because when they when your product gets into the UK when your parcel gets into the UK DHL tend to charge an admin fee on top which is uh, is it 21 pounds or so depending on the value I don't know how it's calculated but I remember opting for DHL for something else I think something from Juvia's Place which I will feature in an upcoming haul and uh, after I had already paid Juvia's Place <laughs> shipping um, I then when my product uh, was about to be delivered got a card in the box in my post box in my got a card in the door saying that I needed to pay for their you know their admin fees or you know how it is with DHL so you have the option to choose your shipping provider so I just say choose Hermes or you don't have to pay any extra fees if it's delivered by Hermes but with Hermes it does take a few days longer which is fine again it's coming from the US so do you expect a longer wait but I think my items, everything got delivered in about two weeks. Um, yeah, it's about two weeks that it got delivered in. So again, back to the products I chose. I Everything I chose at the time, obviously the prices do fluctuate, but everything I chose at the time was about from £8. In fact, this was about £8 something thereabouts. Um, and you can choose to see the products that you want to buy in your local currency. So mine I think yeah this was about eight pounds something and a few pence and everything like the most expensive thing I got was like I don't know I'm guessing 11 pounds and I think that was the second item I'm going to talk about so yeah it was very affordable especially comparing it to the prices I would have paid if full price if I bought it straight from the UK or if I bought it from another site like yes style so for iHerb being a new customer that really really did help having that 25% discount and also look out for any of your uh, your YouTube influencers um, because I've seen a few videos where people do do iHerb hauls and they do get discount codes that they can give to their subscribers. I remember watching a video from Yuki and she had a 20% off discount. Again, so obviously if you're not new and you've already used your 25% discount, you could use a discount code from you know another provider like another influencer who happens to be featuring iHerb products so yeah ramble over this product Benton's deep green tea toner is amazing so I it, initially I think I got it from a UK site I did happen to get it on discount and I think I paid about 13 pounds something for it or 14 pounds um, from the UK so when the opportunity actually came to buy it from iHerb I got two of this so this is two out of the six products that I got and I love this product it's it's helped me out so much in my um, acne journey especially when I started using Dermatica so Dermatica is like an online subscription service and I get my tretinoin and tretinoin is like a retinol product it's the strongest one of the strongest uh, retinol products um, types of retinol products that you can use on your skin for acne and it exfoliates it's anti-aging it uh, helps regenerate collagen in your skin and again it helps deal with the acne scars and the acne within the pores a uh, word of warning it can cause purging which is when your acne gets really 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 bad before it gets better so I've done a whole video on my journey with Dermatica link in the description box if you want to sign up your first 
prescription with them once you've filled, filled out a form, tell them your history. Um, it's free, you only pay about £2.95 shipping if you're in the UK. So it's really great and I think the, the other option for Dermatica if you're in the US is Curology. I think that's one of the equivalent brands that do like a similar service. So yeah, when I was using uh, my Tretinoin from Dermatica, this really really helped. I started using this after the purging stage because I was just really freaked out about the whole purging so I just kept my skincare really really minimal. But then obviously when I realised that green tea is anti-inflammatory, it really does help with calming down any inflammation, irritation in the skin. This has been a game changer. I use it like every day, twice a day even. Yeah, twice a day in my skincare routine. So I got two of this. So I'll just read what it says on the box just so you know. Uh, so it says Benton Deep Green Tea Toner is a light and hydrating toner. <clears throat> Enriched with green tea from Bosong, which is... Uh, an area in Korea, uh, which is the most famous tea producing area in Korea. The toner replenishes moisture, soothes and freshens while leaving skin healthy and clear. And it's very hydrating as well. When you put it on your skin, your skin just feels like it's drinking up a lot of water. It doesn't feel dry for a long while after. So there's something, uh, you know, that it does definitely contain humectants that help retain that hydration in your skin, which is great. So the first ingredient is the green tea leaf water. And then you have butylene glycol, which is a humectant and a bunch of other um, ingredients. But again, it has actually a relatively short ingredients list. It's not too long. So yeah, if you wanted to do a quick research on what's in here, you can probably find it all out. So you just take a little bit and you dab it on your skin, you pat it on your skin after you've just washed your skin. And then you can top it up with a serum, like an active serum, maybe like a, uh, anything that's a tyrosinase inhibitor. So maybe an alpha arbutin serum, a tranexamic acid serum, something containing, I don't know, vitamin C. This really works with everything in my skincare routine. And then I top up with a moisturizer uh, slash an oil or something, and I'm and I'm good. So this also helps with um, on the days when I use uh, my tretinoin. Sometimes I can wake up with some dry patches. I always make sure I use this with with an extra dab of niacinamide as well, just to help counteract that um, effect. So this is really really key in my skincare routine. I would be nothing without it, so let's just say that. So you really do want to check this out. It's great for all skin types as well. So if you oily, combo or dry, you can use this. And it's just, it's a great product. And I think, yeah, so I got two of it, so I stocked up. And then the next thing I got from Benton is their Snail Bee High Content Skin. And it says their Snail Bee High Content Skin is tested under dermatological control, snail, sec snail secretion filtrate, camellia sin sin sinensis leaf water, which is green tea water, leaf venom, and then a bunch of other products, and various botanical extracts are used to help improve your complexion. This skin toner helps keep your skin hydrated and smooth. Again, it's 150 mLs, 5.07 fluid ounces, and yeah, it's just another hydrating product skin uh skin snail snail filtrate is another hydrating product it has a bit more body to it um this reminds me of another benton product that i got a hold of in my i believe in my feel unique customizable beauty box i got a sample of this this is the aloe bha skin toner again the key ingredient is aloe but it also contains 0.5% uh, BHA um, and snail secretion filtrate, which is what is in this product here. So that's what introduced me to snail, um, snail filtrate, as in from Benton. And I really like this. Um, this is a good, like a hydrating slash mild treatment product. So I decided to get a bigger pro product. They're not the same. This is a snail bee and this is the aloe skin bha so i got this not from my haul from iherb i got this previously but this is what i got and again it's 150 mls i haven't used this before i've just i've just removed the sticker so i haven't obviously used any of these and it feels like it's really really runny almost like a mist but it comes with the a pump that you can see here and it has a black bottle and it has the snail bee uh, skin 
on the bottle snail bee snail bee high content skin so that's another product next is another product i was really really excited to get my hands on so this is the aqua toner again it's another korean brand i think i heard about this probably in another beauty within video i binge watch a lot of their videos their their product their content is just so high quality so cutesy yet very informative so this is the aqua 5.5 toner and this is what it looks like i hope you can see it i'm not sure if you can so this is um the key product in here is licorice and licorice is a very good brightening agent especially for somebody like me who still has like residual acne scars some of them are just really old and they just refuse to go but the majority of the new ones i've had in the past year and a half have um, been slowly fading with my tretinoin treatment from dermatica so i help that along by using brightening products uh, and other terrestrial inhibitors like uh, tranexamic acid and um, alpha arbutin with my what do you call it my vitamin c powder from the ordinary so i have a bunch of things that i use in my arsenal but this particular product i really really wanted to try this is the aqua 5.5 uh, toner like i said and it's a korean traditional dermal cosmetic brand um, for stressed and sensitive skin so it says by using the root that helps a fundamental improvement of skin aqua contains highly enriched complex of oriental herbs formulated by korean intrinsic efficacy uh, what else does it say? Aqua's exclusive complex made of highly refined oriental herbs based on the formula of the intrinsic Korean ingredients derived from nature. Um, so yeah, so these are just basically it's targeted at um, sensitive skin as well. So it's great for those days when your skin is feeling inflamed for whatever reason. I get those days where I've kind of gone too hard on my tretinoin sometimes. I go back to back to back to back. And then sometimes I'll wake up and I realise I've got like dry patches, like flaky skin, like little bits of flaky skin, always around my mouth area. So this product will be great for that. And again, like I said, licorice is like a great brightening agent, anti-inflammatory. Uh, so yeah, so this says it's just like a toner that you dab on your skin. I've kind of gone heavy on toners. If you don't know, I love toners. The dermatologist and I want to say uh, beauty, um, some pro some people will say, you know, the toners are not essential, they're not necessary, but I do really love them. There's something about applying toner to your face that's just so cooling and it's just very pampering for me. Uh, I do, I just love toners. So yeah, so it says this is a daily pH balancing toner that uses licorice root water to hydrate skin and refine skin texture while removing dead skin cells and impurities. So actually there are some warnings in here, so please uh, take note. It says do not use on skin that is damaged or irritated. Do not use on eczema. And obviously consult your doctor if you have um, any itchiness or irritation, i.e. an allergic reaction. So yeah, you just store it in a cool place and you just dab, dab, dab. So I'm really excited to try this. I don't know which one I will try first out of all these products. But I will update you in a skincare video at some point. Maybe in a, like a my morning routine or nighttime routine type of video. But this is uh, another product I was really excited to try. And I'm really glad I got it at a discounted rate as well. And please do leave a comment down below if you've tried any of these products and what uh your experience was with them that would really be helpful again just to share it you know amongst uh the uh, you know in the comment section just for somebody else to know as well not just for myself so the next product is a product i um heard of from gothamista so her name is renee but her channel is called gothamista and if you're into k beauty or any or in skin skincare in general you would have come across her channel again she is uh, Asian and she just has this very kind of very clean clear concise way of just explaining the benefits of uh, really really good skincare products that she just loves to try and she must be in like her 40s but she looks amazing so yeah she has a wealth of knowledge and she's just an everyday woman <laughs> she's not like a, a doctor or anything like that 
because I just love her channel. So I heard about this from her channel first and this is the Pyongyang Yo Essence Toner. If you're into your skincare, you will know about this already. And if you're not, uh, this is the debut. So this is a another product from Korea. It's the Moisture Essence Toner, which is full of nourishment and rich hydrate nourishment and rich hydrated it says so this is i think that the reason this became so popular in the skincare community is that it's one of those products where it only has i think one ingredient i want to say or like a very very small ingredient list yeah so the ingredient list is very very small um the main ingredient is the astragalus membrane this root extract <laughs> i'll leave what that stands for on the screen um, I can't remember what, what it's, um, it's a particular vegetable basically and that is the, the main ingredient. There's just something very clean about the packaging and just the whole branding and the fact that the ingredients list is so short as well. So you will have seen this bottle on many of blog posts, many videos. So you can see it says Pyongyang Yule and it's just a very, very... It seems like it's slightly thicker, um, like a slightly thicker, more glue, not gloopy or sticky, but just a thicker consistency than the other two toners. And I don't know which one I'll use first, but again, this is just another product I really, really wanted to try. Again, it's meant to be good for calming down irritation and just conditioning and softening the skin. And I just really wanted to try it for myself, just so I can at least say I have an opinion on it. And then lastly, I got another product from the same brand, Pyongyang Yul. And this is the Acne Toner. I don't know what made me get two different toners, one for acne and one a regular. But I guess there are some days, like, I don't always use acne treatments in my skincare routine. I do space it out. So I have one day of just, like, I don't know, hydrating antioxidant, uh, hydrating products and antioxidants. Another day I'll have my Dermatica treatment. Another day I'll have like maybe a salicylic acid serum with some other hydrating products to counteract the dryness. Um, yeah, so I just kind of mix it up sometimes so it isn't full on acne treatment, acne, acne treatment, acne treatment every single time I do my skincare routine. So it's good to have options of just simple products and treatment products as well, just so your skin isn't being like, you know, hit on <laughs> all levels. I'm just trying to open this up. I think I got this because, if I remember, I think it has peptides and a bunch of other products, um, a, a bunch of other ingredients in here that really, really help with acne. Yeah, so this I can see has willow bark, willow bark extract, uh, niacinamide, centella asiatica extract, and a couple of peptides, copper, copper tripeptide one, uh, licorice root extract. So this is just very, very, I think a lot of the ingredients in here are targeted again at the, uh, like the blemishes that you get as a result of acne. Um, so yeah, so these are supposedly supposed to, well, supposed to help with um, fading um, blemishes on your skin. So I think that's what drew me to it. And again, because it is a toner, you just dab, dab, dab and pat it on your skin. I just want to see what it looks like on the inside. So this is the box it came in. So this is a, a very, very simple bottle. It has Pyongyang Yul Acne on there and that's about it and then you have the ingredients on the back and again this is 150 ml, 5.07 fluid ounces. You get a lot um, of money uh, bang for your buck for this. So this is very very runny. Again I think this will be a job of maybe pouring some on your hand and dab 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 or you can put it on a cotton pad if you wanted to. So these are the few products I got just in my first intentional foray into k-beauty and i just wanted to share some of them with you let me know if you've tried any of these products or if there are any other recommendations you want to you want me to try 
and I will add it to my list of products to try next. Please do like this video if you got any value from it, if you liked it. I will update you in uh, one of my skincare related videos coming at some point on what I think about one or two of these products. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate your support by watching my videos. Again, please do like if you like this video. It really does help my channel out. And subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell while you're subscribing so you don't miss my next video. Until next time, stay blessed. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.